It's release day for 93 loggerhead sea turtles. They spent their first couple months of life here at FAU's research laboratory in Gumbo Limbo, but today they're headed to the ocean blue. These little guys are helping FAU's Dr. Jeanette Weineken and her students answer a big question. How does sex get determined? How does that pan out in nature? That's a really important question because if there are only females being produced, there's no way that this imperiled species is gonna recover. Unlike mammals, most reptiles' gender is determined by climate during incubation. The temperature basically on the cooler side produces males and on the warmer side produces females. Easy way to remember, hot chicks, cool dudes. The turtles are color coded by which nest they came from using children's fingernail polish. But what happens since hatchling season is always during the summer. So we get a lot of females. But nature likes throwing curveballs. Some years we'd have really hot temperatures, but more males than what we would expect. That's when Weineken and grad student Alexandra Lullivar begin studying the effects of moisture on gender outcome. Every single morning, I go to our study site, the Oprah by Ocean Reef Towers, and I water the nest. So what we think right now is when you increase moisture in the nest, you get more males. At the peak of season, FAU's research laboratory houses more than 600 baby turtles. Feeding them is a smelly process. Weineken's homemade turtle grub consists of turtle pellets, gelatin, vitamins, fish, and water. Every Thursday, turtles are cleaned and weighed. Once they reach 120 grams, ginger is determined, and it's time to be loaded up on Jim Abernathy's dive boat, who releases them in the Gulf Stream. Inadvertently, since these turtles are bigger, they have a better chance of survival. They're not swimming by all those mouths that can eat them. Right. They've outgrown some of the mouths that can eat them and their shells are hard. Watch everything that's going on from up top in FAU's Visitors Gallery at Gumbo Limbo Nature Center.